question is, it seems to me that one of the fundamental characteristics of being alive is not knowing. Not knowing. Not knowing. Amen. <laughs> yeah. So? So, and that brings an inevitable sense of insecurity. Yes. Which seems to me that, at least in my case, I do the best not to experience. So I'm new to focusing, and I keep hearing an awful lot about finding a safe place. Yes. And, um, and it kind of, if I'm really honest, sometimes it sounds really phony, because it's, it's not safe. Ah. Being alive isn't safe. I mean, I could be dead in 10 minutes, and I kind of need to acknowledge that it isn't in order to almost to feel safe, if you see what I mean. Yes, I do. So very this much. is the area I that I'm trying to much. form a question about. Yeah. If you uh, I want to say that not knowing is not a blank. Not knowing is the place where focusing starts. Not knowing even if you don't know focusing. Not knowing is a thick place, right? Most of the world is still talking about knowing or not knowing as if all you have is what you know, and then when you don't know, all you have is a blank, a question. It's not like that. If you have a question, go see why you have that question, why it's an important question, and there's your thick not knowing. Go in there. Okay, so in the middle, I want to, I want to acknowledge, you're right, I think, for, I would agree with you, that it's really important to sense that living isn't safe. A safe place inside, though, you can find. Now, you may have to find it again every morning. I get more laughs than that usually for that. <laughs> <laughs> but but, but you, can, you can find it. But there is a relationship to have with fear. Most of us, not everybody, but many people, most of us, I certainly, we have fear on the bottom. And if we don't notice that, then we don't get further. So to acknowledge the fear at the bottom is what I take you to be talking about. The fear of living, the fear of, of, of is the ground going to give out from under you? Are you going to stick your head out and get your head chopped off? Are you going to say the wrong thing? Are you going to do the wrong thing? Uh, trying to do the right thing all the time is a pitfall of focusing because focusing leads, life wants to move forward and, and so you have a feeling of wanting the right thing. But wanting the right thing is good. But having to do it right is already an oppression. It's already fear. So even just touching the fear underneath helps. It clarifies a lot of confusions on the way down. You have to do them all. You say, oh yeah, that's right. I'm afraid, uh, just afraid. Afraid of living, afraid of everything. Afraid of doing the wrong thing, afraid of saying the wrong thing. You just touch that, that's already better. Okay, now a safe place inside. I don't know, as I say, I sometimes have to find it fresh every morning. But fear is not really the safest thing. The fear is there because every organism is given this gift of alarm if there's danger and so on. So you want to see what you're afraid of. But then when you see that you're afraid of living or you're afraid of everything, then it's good to realize that fear isn't safe either. Fear constricts you. Fear will blind you. You won't see the way out with too much fear. So then knowing that, there is a place that isn't, doesn't have any content, which I will talk more about. A place where you say, oh yeah, here I can be next to my fear, next to the sense that if I were properly connected, I wouldn't be afraid. Of course, I am never properly connected, so then I am. But there's a place where you are you, and that has no content. 
and that's safer than any of the contents. But then I have to find it again fresh. So I'll talk more about that. But that's, thank you. Did I, did I come close? Yes, yes.